Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is our largest CAC submission ever. And uh, yeah, let's get this video started. Alrighty guys, so wanted to show you just the huge amount of coins that we got from a few dealers and collectors that need help sending some coins into CAC. We're going to take some of these upstairs, show you guys everything that is, uh, you know, all these great coins that they sent in. Uh, just a huge variety, and we hope you guys enjoy it. All right, everybody. We're going to start showing you some beautiful coins today, give you guys our opinion. Uh, I got, like I said, we got a lot from a lot of people, and we want to just uh, start taking these apart and showing you, you know, possibly if they could CAC, or if they would gold CAC, or if they, you know, wouldn't CAC at all. But... If you're taking a look at the first coin, the cheek is pretty clean. Little uh, coin roll right here, as you can see on the chin. Fields are very nice for this 64 PL. Um, there's another coin roll right here, but I don't think that'd be a, set of a huge issue. Uh, you know, nice. Uh, you know, nice kind of contrast in the fields. Uh, the problem with this coin is that it's a little bit. It's not hazy, but it's just not very uh, proof-like to me. But it's still a, a decent coin. I think this one would be a B coin, just because I don't think it really would merit a 65 PL CAC. So what, what that really means is uh, if a coin would were to gold CAC with a 64 PL grade, that means it would be able it would be able to be a 65 PL with a CAC at the end of the day, at least. Um, based on a little bit of the attributes that I see, I just don't think it has that potential. But still a nice uh, coin, but I do think this one is a B for sure. Up next is this 1941 Denver, Walking Liberty Half. And you're taking a look at this coin. I think it's nice, but I don't think it is a gold cack material. Main problem that I was having is the strike here on the leg, but also this kind of big scratch going from, uh, you know, what she's holding here all the way out in the field. And there's a kind of big ding over here also. That scratch to me really... Uh, it really does set this coin apart. If that if that wasn't there, I think it'd be a lot better of a coin. Um, and so, for me, I'm not too sure this is even uh, a great 65 in my opinion. I would call this one uh, a C coin. And I'm trying to be I'm trying to be very uh, precise and not hold any you know not hold anything to myself. But uh, you know, I wish we could all get really good grades and do well. And I may be wrong, but that's just what uh, I'm trying to learn and grow my eye to, to have. Up next, a 1960 Franklin Half Dollar. This one's great at MS65. I can see why he bought this one. Uh, I think he's going for a gold CAC on most of these coins that we're going to show you. Uh, this coin's nice, but when I take a look and pivot it down, you can see all that residue there, all that guck. Like I said, though, the surfaces are really nice, really pristine. Nothing's wrong with them. <clears throat> but when you take a look at that, when you, you know, something that was held in, um, it really does, uh, I don't think this one is going to do well at all. I do think this one's going to be a C coin, just based on those issues there. Um, you have to look for those haze, you have to look for that PVC, and that's why they probably net graded it down to begin with. But, uh, you know, to get a CAC sticker, it has to be a better, a good 65. I don't think this one is a good 65 based on those merits. And uh, we'll see how that one goes also. It's just an interesting coin. I don't see a lot of stuff like that normally on uh, Franklin's, but up next is 1876 seated quarter. He has a few AU50 coins here also. When you take a look at this piece, it's, uh, you know, really nice original surfaces, some, some decent toning on the coin. Uh, you know, I do think this one is really nice. Nothing really wrong with it at all. When you flip it over, it's got the same kind of story there. No problems on it. Really original and a strong piece. And honestly, I don't see too many AU50s that often with this, with this nice of uh, you know this nice of look. But I don't really know the delineation between the AU50 to AU53 CAC kind of thing. I do think this one does have a shot at B and uh, possibly C, but I'm going to go with B for the time being. If it does better than expected, then that would be great, but definitely a B coin here. Just very strong, very original, something that most people would want for their set. 
and uh, you know you don't have to spend too much money on it for sure are you guys enjoying today's video so far if you are please leave a like we're trying to show you what our predictions would be and then also what they would be when they get back um, just to give you guys kind of a holistic approach to CAC and how we're training our eye and getting better at uh, you know grading coins for CAC and so uh, you know if you guys want to see more of this subscribe and uh, comment your thoughts about the coins today but let's get back to today's video here's another coin this is it 1956 Franklin half dollar graded proof 68 cameo when you take a look at the surfaces here I mean you can really tell the cameo popping up there a few kind of spots in the fields here and uh, most of the time that really uh, does it for a lot of people they don't want to mess with coins with spots but uh, you know there's nothing that's really too distracting in the fields just a few uh, few minor spots but sometimes there's like a big huge you know gaping spot or something like that would really hold it back another kind of spot right here and uh, honestly if it was really a spot free coin I would say this coin would be a B coin but honestly I think this one would, would be a C coin just based on that but like I said I could be wrong I see another carb or another milk spot here um, just too many spots for me to really uh, give this coin a B grade but we will see how this one goes also still a nice coin I mean there's a lot of great coins here and you know not all of them have to have a CAC sticker to be called beautiful and be in a great collection here's an 1854 gold dollar it's a type 2 uh, version when you take a look at this coin I mean the surfaces are really excellent for a gold coin I have a lot of different uh, you know I have a lot of gold coins that I've seen that have just been really cleany and uh, just really ugly but this one honestly I think is really nice I think Jeffrey did really good on this one you can kinda of see a few you know few kinda of hairlines or something on the back here but nothing that's really too uh, of an issue for this coin I would call this one a, a B coin if not a C coin so another strong example here but I would definitely call this one a B coin because it's just uh, excellent for the grade and uh, who knows I mean they might have messed it up and possibly give possibly undergraded this coin and so uh, I would definitely give this one a B though it's just one of those really nice circulated examples really wholesome grade here is a 1937 D three-legged buffalo graded fine 15 by PCGS Distracting spot right up by the uh, right up by the forehead there, but you know that's something to that be expected on these older coins here. Another spot right above the head, but that's okay. Flip over the coin. Surfaces are pretty nice here, and I do like the coin overall. I do think this coin has a nice shot at a, at a B coin. Nothing that's really uh, nothing that's really holding it back. I mean, if it was in a higher grade example and there's the spots on it, I think that would be a problem but I think that they would take it a little bit easier on this coin just because it is in such a circulated grade and hey that's a nice holder too I do like that holder but I would call this one a B coin now here are some cool holders here this is a 1941 Walking Liberty half I'm gonna be careful with this holder um, you take a look at the luster on the coin you also take a look at there's some nice toning on it also not very much haze which is really good and uh, I don't know. It's a tone walker in an old, uh, in an old NGC holder. Not too many problems on this coin. The strike is nice. Luster's nice. There's that kind of uh, almost environmental spot there, but nothing to really be scared about. I think. Um, I think this one really has a shot at being a C coin, not a C coin, but an A coin. I'm sorry. It's just a really strong, nice surface coin, and not too many problems with it. And uh, you know, when you're even looking at the reverse here, I mean, that that really that sticker still surviving right there is really cool. So Jeffrey did pick uh, a nice coin out of a probably an old collection there, and uh, it's going to do pretty well. Very excited for him on that one. Here's a 1937 Walking Liberty half. You can take a look at this one also. I mean, there's just not too many problems in the fields here. Uh, a little bit of a weakness in the leg, but that's okay. I mean, we're working at a 63 grade. I think they really beat this coin up for sure. I'm not too sure if there's hairlines in the fields here or not. Sometimes you have to kind of get it, you know, move it back and forth. Because back then they used to net grade coins with hairlines, but now they, uh, you know, now they actually just do uh, details grades for you. So it's a little bit of a change of pace. 
light little uh, scuff right as you can see right underneath uh, the beak but uh, the reverse is very clean nothing to have a problem with it uh, just a nice beautiful strong coin for sure I think this one also has an A potential and I'm going to go with A on this coin take a risk uh, you know we could be wrong but I do think this coin does have some great potential Up next is an 1891-0 uh, seated dime. This one has some interesting toning on it. It is suppressing the luster extensively. And I took a look at this coin last night. I mean, it does have some interesting character to it. But for a 64 uh, in this, you know, this caliber of coin, you really need the luster to be able to pop for uh, a coin to really cack in this condition. You can just see there's a lot of interesting, you know, just a lot of interesting different colors. A few kind of dark spots, distracting dark spots there. Uh, you know, distracting dark spots right here. For me, I would call this coin a C coin, just based on the lackluster and those kind of spots that are on the verge of environmental. Um, but we will see how that one goes. Trying to be honest in every step of the way, give you guys a great opinion if possible. Here's an 1887 Morgan Dollar graded MS64. Star by NGC. This is a part of the Battle Creek collection. Not too crazy of toning on the coin, but the luster is still strong. Really enjoy the color of the coin. When we flip it over, there's a lot of uh, a lot of kind of hits here on the face, down the cheek. But uh, you know, in the field, it's really nice, problem free. There's a finger right finger spot right here. Uh, you know, nice clear fields. This coin's nice, and uh, I do think this one has a really nice shot at a B coin if it hasn't already been sent to CAC. But I think the there's another fingerprint here. Let's just rest with B, but I do think this one ha has a shot at B, but it might be a C coin. But I do think B is a is a realistic guess, just speak based on the eye appeal and everything else with this coin. The coin I want to show you guys next is this 1944 Washington Quarter, graded MS63 by NGC. When you take a look at the surfaces of this coin, I mean, I think it's nice and strong. There's, uh, you know, a few kind of things in the fields here, a few little scuffs here and there. But I don't think that would really hold it back from receiving a, you know, receiving a decent sticker for the coin. There are a few kind of hits on uh, the eagle's, the eagle's legs here. But I do think it's, uh, it's a nice luster, luster, uh, lustrous coin. And I do think this coin has a shot at being a green sticker, but I don't think it has a shot at being a gold sticker. There's a few kind of big hits here on the face, and uh, you know a lot of kind of touches out in the fields here, and a little bit of haze on the right side. But I do think this one is a decent one; would get a green sticker for sure. Now we're gonna be getting into some fun rattlers here. This is an 1883-0 Morgan Dollar graded MS64 by PCGS. This one's really nice, just based on the toning of the coin. Don't see that too often. Uh, just the initial impression, there's a little bit of missing luster here, and there's a lot of touches in the fields. And when you take a look at the coin overall, I mean, I think the color really gives it that nice bump, but just take a look at the hair here. That's, you know, typical of Omen coins. And there's a little bit of wear on the top as well. And that's just from rubbing or something else. When you flip over the coin, uh, you know, nice color also, distracting spot here, lackluster all throughout the coin. I do think this one, at the end of the day, is a, it's a, it's a 64 grade, but it's a, not a nice 64 grade, in my opinion. I would give this one a C grade. <clears throat> Up next, the 1946 Walking Liberty Half, graded MS64 by PCGS. Taking a look at this coin also, you can kind of see these sp these uh, spots here. I think they might have neck graded this coin down. Not sure if that would hold it back from a green sticker, but uh, it might be PVC or it might be something else. Most of the time when you get a rattler, you gotta like aim it down and start to try to look and scrutinize it the way you can. It's a nice coin, but that for me is something that would probably hold John back from giving this one a decent grade. Um, very nice surfaces. Strike is pretty decent on this coin. But right there is really uh, the pocket of, of question. 
and there's a little bit here by the L also. So I would say that this coin is probably a C coin also, just based on um, those problems that we normally see with undergraded, what appears to be undergraded coins in PCGS rattler holders. Another Morgan dollar, we had MS64 by PCGS. This one's a nice terminal obverse. Luster's really still present on the coin. Um, the cheek is, is rather problem free for MS64. A little bit of, of rubbing here, as you can see on the high point. Kind of a little bit of, you know, grainy old touches in the fields. When you flip it over, nice luster also on here. You can kind of see a little a few of the polish lines when you take a look at it. Uh, kind of a distracting spot on the eagle's uh, wing, but nothing too crazy. I do think this one has a nice shot at being um, a gold, not a gold, but a, a green sticker. I would give this coin a B grade. I just don't know if the cheek is strong enough to get a 65 sticker or a, an A sticker. And so I do think this one conservatively has a nice shot at a green sticker. Up next is another Washington Quarter, 1939 from uh, PCGS. It's great MS65. When you're kind of tilting it down, it does kind of have this haze here going all the way down the coin. But the luster is still pretty nice on the coin. I think it's, uh, you know, a few little spots in the fields, nice little toning on it. And, uh, you know, you can't go wrong with a nice Washington Quarter and a rattler. Little haze here still on the coin, but I'm not too sure that would hold it back. I do think this coin, um, just based on a lot of the qualities that I see, there's a little little bit of a tick here on the face like normal. Um, I do think this one also is a C coin. You can also see some haze down here by the date. And uh, we ended up enjoying this learning curve when we started sending stuff in and we got nailed and didn't get uh, the grades that we wanted just based on a lot of the things that we see in router holders today. And uh, you got to be tricky. You got to be, you know, on top of it with these things because you could get a coin that's really nice and undergraded, or you could get a coin that won't cack sticker and won't upgrade. And so there's just not very many things in between that, and you have to be very uh, tentative to that. When you take a look at this 1920 Pilgrim, it's rated MS65 in an old green holder. Nice uh, original looking coin. You do kind of see some outer scratches on the coin here, which might be a part of the die die polish dyeing process here. Kind of hard for you to show you guys, but a few kind of big scratches um, kind of going around the rim of the coin. Um, you can kind of see them a little bit. But still, interesting coin. That might just be a part of the process that they had when they were cleaning the dyes. And, you know, the luster on the reverse is very strong. You normally see that a lot with Pilgrims. A little bit of darkness around the rim here. Probably was held in something for a while, but I do think this one has a nice little shot at being a B coin. Nothing that I would say is too distracting on the coin, but um, definitely an interesting piece. Can't go wrong with the Pilgrim in, in an OGH holder. I do think it has some, you know, some strong qualities about it. Uh, Jeffrey once again going for that, uh, you know, going for that gold sticker. You're sending in a coin that's common date. You take a look at the. Take a look at the face here, which is the main issue of the coin, but there's no really problems with it, which is good. See a little bit of rubbing here on the hair. A few little light scratches, as you can see on the on the uh, obverse. Luster's still pretty nice, and uh, I do think this one's really nice, but I don't know if it would really you know reach the top of what we want. Uh, but I'm gonna go out on a limb for for Jeffrey here and say this one has a shot at being an A coin. And we're going to stick with it. But thank you guys for watching part one of uh, the CAC uh, grading process. We're going to be showing you guys more, but let's go to the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, we, you know, been spending a lot of time trying to work on our eye, trying to be better at it. Also trying to help out a few people that want to send coins to CAC. They're not really accepting any members right now. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you, uh, if you enjoyed today's video. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, we, we want to see you guys around. And, you know, commenting and giving your perspective, that's all important to us. But we will see you guys in the next video.